I'm here with Fantastic in Munich, and my guests are Alma Bursti and Lucy Batana. Um, for our viewers who haven't been able to see the film, can you tell me in your own words what the film is about? Well, not to give any details away, it's a, it's a tragic love story. I think so too. Okay. And it's the fourth lost part of the uh, working class trilogy of, of Akiko Rismaki. You probably both grew up with the films of Akiko Rismaki. Um, did you ever imagine that one day you would be the main characters? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> never, no, no. Not in a million years. No. no, no. Still pinching myself. Yeah. Like, is this really, did, did this happen? And apparently it, it did. <laughs> it, it happened and it's going on all the time. Yes, so. now we have a premiere in Germany. Yeah. Crazy. It's <laughs> a beautiful film. Um, in his films, Akiko is making, always had a soft spot for outcasts of the, of the working class. And I just love that. Um, what parts of the script really made you want to do this film? Or did the script maybe doesn't matter because we're talking about Akiko is making? Well, the whole script is a pearl, so every part of it. Such, <laughs> a, such an amazing, amazing script. Yeah. And uh, well, I, I guess the main reason why why I, I love my character is that uh, nobody knows uh, his first name, even his best and only friend doesn't know know his first name. So, I think that's a. Uh, very interesting uh, type of character and uh, well that was truly something that I want to do this I want mm. to be that guy I also feel that it's a, it's a love story and it's about people in their 40s so they've seen they've seen things and they have had disappointments and they still take the chance and have, have hope of falling in love mm. and it's a huge risk and it's, it's very courageous of them, so I really admire both characters for, for that reason too. Mm -hmm. And also maybe the, the one that, um, the reason that they have such a pride and a, in, in their work, even though they're not uh, very well seen in society, I mean they have tough jobs and... Uh, not I really successful people. <laughs> no, my character, she gets fired a lot and loses her job and, and things like this, but uh, she still has a, a pride and a self of of self that I admire about of her and I guess Holapa has, has that kind of pride too. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, at some point in the film you are both visiting a film theatre, as we can see on the poster, um, and you're watching The Dead Don't Die by Jim Jarmusch, and the cinephile jokes are just brilliant. Um, it's like a love letter to cinema. So what are your first memories when it comes to cinema? Oh. I think I was very small when I, or little when I went the first time and it was very exciting or just the part when they turn off the lights <laughs> already and then something magic starts to happen. I think my first film was probably some kind of cartoon. Well, I, <coughs> I, I grew up on, uh, in uh, countryside Finland and, and there weren't many uh, cinemas around. But, uh, well, every once in a while you, you had a chance to visit the cinema. It was a truly like an amazing uh, feeling and an amazing like an uh, adventure to see something that you can't see in your normal life. But I, I really can't remember what was like the first movie. Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm always interested in how a film comes to life because almost every director has a different approach. And uh, although there are not many lines in the film, the dialogue has always been. Uh, has the di dialogue always been in the script, or did you have the chance to improvise? <coughs> well, to be honest, no. <laughs> no room for improvisation. <laughs> no, Aki is really very no. exact. 
everything is actually written in the script. So we basically did the script. Yeah, yeah. As, yeah. <laughs> as, as it was written. As that sounds, it, it, that's actually mm. what, how, how we made it. And preparation wise, we were told not to prepare, not to rehearse, not no, to, no, to, yeah, to yeah. know your lines, but that's kind of it. Uh, and then Aki was very, he knew exactly what he wanted, so. But, but that's Aki's, Aki's talent. He's very good at saying, saying a lot with very few words. He's like a master in summarizing stuff. And that was the case uh, according to the whole, whole script. It was just an, like a an pure unit. There, there was a feeling that as an actor, I don't have to add anything. No, no need to invent something backstories yeah. or stuff. It, it was just, uh, just had to trust the script. And it was easy because Aki, he truly knows what he wants. So <laughs> it was, it's uh, almost like the opposite. You start taking away and you see how much you can take away. It's the art of, of taking away everything that's really not needed. Really, yeah, really yeah, yeah. distillating the moment. True, true. That, like the, like the, uh, the frame, where you're acting, that's very strict. But there's always some breathing room for actor and, and breathing room for to react your uh, uh, partner and yeah. partner. So. Yeah, there's still a lot of life, life in it. And when you don't go wide, you go deep in a way. Absolutely. Perhaps, yeah. Um, did you prepare for your roles in any kind of way? Yeah, I rewatched Aki's movies. Yeah, me too. Uh, and then I tried not to rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I actually I, I went to the places where my character is working, and I I rehearsed that a little bit to get the the hang of it. But yeah, yeah, I, I had the same. I had to uh, rehearse a bit with his uh, his profession. And I saw a few uh, of his previous movies, but at the same time, I didn't want to see them too much because you don't want you you can't copy them and you can't copy the way of acting. You just, in a way, have to adapt yourself in the, into that style. And I think uh, uh, us being uh, actors from Finland. The style of Aki, in a way, it's in our blood because we we have seen seen Aki's work uh, since we were kids, or maybe as kids, but <laughs> <laughs> from when we were teenagers, or yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Four Leaves had its world premiere at the Cannes Film Festival and was awarded with the jury prize. And you both attended the festival. How was it? crazy planet. <laughs> it was fabulous and overwhelming. <laughs> and uh, the night we, we had the, the screening, it was really, really oh, heartwarming and, and overwhelming feeling because this huge soul became so intimate and people seemed to understand the movie even we come from different countries and cultures and languages and it, it really corresponded. So that was a, quite an amazing feeling. Yeah. yeah. Very, very heartwarming, uh, amazing, amazing journey. And it's, uh, well, like all Aki's movies, there is a lot of comedy in it. So it was so nice uh, to see that the comedy works also in, in France and there were a lot of international guests around the world. So he has this uh, ability of writing comedy so that everybody gets it. That's, that's, that was like not nice to see. Absolutely. Um, and now you're at the Film Fest Munich. What are you expecting from tonight's screening? Well... Ah, weiß nicht. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited to see how it trans... The, how it communicates here, of course. And uh, Aki is a very big here in Germany. I think he has a very uh, well audience that has been following him for, for such a long time. So I hope they take this movie to their hearts uh, and, and are excited about it. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's always uh, 
fun to get feedback of, of what you have done. And I guess that's basically the same we're expecting now. But uh, it's going to be fun, I think. I'm pretty sure that it will be a brilliant evening. So what about the future? Is there anything you can already talk about? Any new projects? Yeah. Yeah. Go, <laughs> yeah. Go go ahead. I don't I don't have any special I can I can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm filming quite a lot uh, right now. I have like three different films that I'm, I'm working on, and uh, one is called Orenda, which is directed by Sirio Honkasalo and written by by Pirkko Saisio, and, and we filmed the most part of it now, and it's it's very exciting. And then there is the summer book coming out, uh, or we. We're filming it this summer uh, by Tove Jansson, who, who made the Moomin stories. Uh, so that's also a very exciting project. I'm only planning that. I'm a part-time farmer, so I, I have time to drive tractor this summer. So that's my um, main future uh, goal at the moment. <laughs> but I hope we're going to see you back on screen. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much for the interview. Good luck with the screening tonight, and I'm looking forward to everything that's coming our way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.